Hello, I'm Dr. Jeffrey Fidel. In this video, I'd like to go over the difference between spirituality and religion. The two, um, to many people, go hand in hand, that spiritual practices are somehow religious practices. But there is a different way of looking at what spirituality is, which of course simply is a word, versus what religion is. Again, another word, but spirituality being more looking into oneself and religion looking towards outside of oneself. And really that's the largest difference is the spiritual practices are the practices when we look into ourselves. Now, when we look into ourselves, we cannot do this really in the realm of thought. We can't go into ourselves in a thinking process. And this is why for the spiritual process, it's mostly a meditative state. It's a state of not thinking. Because if we go into ourselves in the realm of thought, we are not losing contact with our intellect. We're using our intellect to then define our being. So there's no way for me to go into myself intellectually. Otherwise, I'll just say, these are my eyes, these are my cheeks, this is my chin, and my chest. The mind will just label everything. So to go in is to go without the mind, and that means just to feel the sensations of our entire being or body without the intellect naming it. And that's why much of spirituality is done in silence. And it's to just allow ourselves to experience and to feel each part of our entire body. And this is how we begin to learn ourselves beyond our intellect. Just by feeling the essence of our body, we begin to learn that we're not just our mind. And that is um, one of the main components of spirituality. Now, the other component of spirituality deals with the intelligence of our heart. And the heart is the most intelligent uh, part of who we are. Um, and this has always been shown in all the spiritual teachers. If you look at Christ or Buddha or Rumi or any spiritual teacher, the, the, or, or Lao Tzu, the answer has never been in religion. These people have just come to kind of say to us, if you want to know your answer, why then you have it within you. Um, you know, the words such as the kingdom of heaven is within you, or the way to heaven is through the heart. It's always been within us uh, and it is within us that we find out our true nature which is just as it was when we were born before again the intellect came and that is just not separate from this present moment of existence. Now going back to religion and explaining what religion is. Well, religion is mostly the word of mouth from the people that looked within themselves. So if you take Jesus Christ, um, people listen to what he said, and then they write down an interpretation of what he said. And what we're left with is an interpretation of what he said. No one can know what Christ experienced because only 
Christ is the one that went into himself. The same thing with uh, Buddha, another person where Buddhism is a religion after Buddha. So he goes into himself and he discovers that he's not a self because he's not a separate entity, separate from this present moment of existence. And he writes about this and he has people listen and then of course scriptures are written and the religion is formed. But only a religion is then people believing that but what Buddha saw is the right way. That's Buddhism or Christianity. What Christ saw is the right way. Um, so the group of people that listen to these teachers that go within themselves, they come up with ideas of what, they're, what um, either Christ is saying in the case of Christianity or what Buddha is saying in the, in the case of Buddhism. And they write down what these teachers say. And then from that, religion is born. Or Taoism from Lao Tzu, who goes into himself. And then he teaches what, what it is. Again, people writing it down and then, and then studying what these teachings are. But notice if we study, we're still in the mind. And then we just come up with more ideas of what these people were trying to say rather than ourselves going in and finding out for ourselves what it is that they experienced and finding out the truth of who they are, which is not separate from this present moment of existence, that this moment is the oneness or the one consciousness that nothing is separate from, that we are life itself unfolding in this present moment. So in summary, spirituality, for lack of a better word, is just that. It's not a religion. It's not anything except for experiencing who you are outside of the realm of the intellect. And like I said before, the complete leap of faith is to know that when you go into the heart, then you are communicating with the very existence that you are not separate from. This is where you'll find what these teachers are talking about. There's no religion really in Buddha. Buddha is just saying, look into yourself, look to your heart and find out your true nature. You're not, there's no self, meaning that there's no knowable, nameable entity uh, that you will find within yourself. What you will find is just this present moment. You, you've never been separate from it. The same thing with uh, uh, um, Lao Tzu's the Tao Te Ching again look into yourself look to your heart and you will find again that it is unknowable of course the word Tao means that it can't be known it can't be named who you are is inseparate from this unknowable unnameable present moment that's who you are not, not a separate person but you are an actual expression of this present moment of life. You are this life itself. You've never been a separate person. You've never been who you believed yourself to be. You just are this. So that's the spiritual aspect. And then religion, of course, like I said, is the, the writing down of, of the teachers, whether it's Lao Tzu or Buddha, People listen to what they say and then they write down what they said um, or they interpret what, what was written by these teachers. But either way, we're left with scriptures, 
which are then learned by other people. But when we learn what was said by other people, we're not going into the being of who we are. We're not going into the heart. We're just coming up with ideas of what these people say. So the only way for us to truly know what they say is for each of us to go in and find out the truth which resides within us, within our heart.